Dubai's core areas of business like real estate, financial services, tourism and retail are featured in Oxford Business Group's new report, Dubai 2020. The study sheds light on sectors set to lead the way beyond Expo 2020 Dubai. Billy Fitzherbert is Middle East Regional Editor at Oxford Business Group and he's here to tell us more. Billy, great to have you with us in the studio. What were the key findings then of the latest report? Well, Greg, it's clear to us that Dubai remains a hugely competitive place to do business. Uh, the Dubai Department for Economic Development indicated that 41% was the growth level for foreign direct investment between 2017 and 2018, uh, which is obviously a huge jump. This was obviously, I think, helped in large part by the introduction last year of the foreign direct investment law. Uh, this allows foreigner, for, foreigners to own business in Dubai. 100% of business in Dubai for the first time. Previously, of course, this was capped at 49%. And this is also being helped by the wider uh, reforms this year which were introduced in terms of the uh, residency, per residency rules. Uh, Ten-year visas have now been uh, introduced, allowing investors to come and to stay and become more involved in the economy for a greater period of time. More broadly, I think Dubai continues to be a model for diversified uh, and broad-based growth uh, in the region, uh, and it's, it, which is something that is considered key in, in terms of sustainable development moving forward. Now, do your statistics give us a glimpse of the economy after Expo 2020 Dubai? Well, yes, of course, Dubai Expo 2020 is going to be a huge boost to the economy next year. But I think it's also worth, before moving on to next year, we should look at how it's also benefited the economy so far. Uh, a report by Ernst & Young has indicated that un up until uh, October 2020, when the event is due to start, uh, investments associated and spending associated with the event in terms of pre-site construction, pre-site planning and that sort of thing uh, will total almost 10 or just over 10 billion dollars. It's obviously a huge amount there already. Um, during the event I think we can expect to see that economic momentum continue uh, and it will be concentrated in sectors such as construction, retail and hospitality. Now, obviously moving forward the legacy is an incredibly important thing to focus on and Dubai's authorities have done a great job so far in making sure that the economic benefits of Expo 2020 feed into growth in the new decade. Uh, the Expo site is due to be turned into uh, District 2020, uh, which will be a residential compound with commercial uh, uh, options as well, as well as uh, galleries, museums and academic institutions. So the site is, is, is going to feed into Dubai's economy well after the event. Now, Billy, we're just about to head into a new decade. Um, do we know which sectors are going to progress the fastest in, in the next 10 years? I think we can probably expect the sectors which have thus far powered growth in Dubai to continue powering growth uh, in the new decade. Um, wholesale and retail trade currently is the biggest in this regard. It contributes 25% or just over 25% uh, of the Emirates GDP. Um, and this, is, this of course is an, it's an area which is open to significant uh, disruption from new technologies. As we were talking at our launch event for the uh, report yesterday, um, we were talking about how e-commerce uh, in the region is on the rise. Um, in the UK, for example, it constitutes 15% of, of, of spending, whereas in the UAE it's just 4%, so that demonstrates there's a lot of room for expansion. Uh, and eBay and Amazon have recently set up shop in, in, in the Emirates, so of course that underlines and underpins uh, that value offering. Um, I think following on from that we have transport, uh, so we have the storage, storage and transport, uh, which feeds into the e-commerce uh, angle. Um, transport has benefited massively from the uh, infrastructure investments associated with Expo 2020 and I think it's also worth mentioning Maritime. <clears throat> Dubai for the first uh, year this year was entered into the top 10 uh, maritime cities in the world mm -hmm. uh, and it currently d uh, contributes around 7% of the Emirates GDP. Billy, we're running out of time but um, you launched your latest report at NASDAQ Dubai bringing the opening bell and um, what was the significance of that? I think it's important I think with NASDAQ uh, their client and investor base is a sort of broad very broad and it's very international and I think given Oxford Business Group's, uh, Oxford Business Group's onus on, on presenting international opportunities to foreign investors, it, was, it, was, it made it for a very good match and a very good partnership. Appreciate you coming in tonight, Billy Fitzherbert. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.